On day seven, I hiked 12 miles west via the Minong Ridge Trail. I passed Hatchet Lake and Little Todd to the North Lake Desur Campground. Morning. Oh, it's been a wet, damp, moist morning. Rained overnight. I'm walking through all these weeds, but it's all right. Probably about halfway in today. Haven't stopped for breakfast yet. I'll do that. I'm about to Little Todd uh, campsite intersection up here. Um, stop there, have a little breakfast. I'm gonna get to camp probably around lunchtime today. But uh, that moose, that bull moose I saw this morning, that was pretty cool. Those antlers were the first thing that I saw. They're kind of an orange coppery color. And uh, yeah, that was really cool. All right, more of this nonsense. To give you a good idea of the type of trail that I've been walking on here. It's very different from all the other trails I've been walking on on this trip. This is where I'm going, just along the top of the ridge here. I circle back to where I've been. You can see it's just this long exposed rock ridge up and down through there. It's uh, a lot better than walking through weeds, but today, with how moist it is, these rocks are pretty slippery, so I'm being very cautious with every step. A couple big piles of moose poop up here too. Now that's a boss. I made it to the North Lake Desur campsite. Lake Desur. South Lake Desur, which is where I camped when that big storm came in. Someplace right over there. It's a big lake for inside of an island, but it's beautiful. Nice little shore down here. Good places to get water. There are only three campsites at this campground came in and there's a couple just setting up uh, I think down in one or three whatever it is I set up here in two either one would work fine for me but uh, if you do come here the campsites are full there's plenty of places to camp in here so I'm gonna set up my hammock over here relax eat some lunch chill out that uh Minong Trail was, uh, I'm not going to say it was impossible, but it definitely took a lot longer than the other trails. Just, uh, you're either going up or down, and when you weren't going up or down, you're going across those rocks that could be slippery. So, you know, as long as you're patient, take your time, it's fine.
took a little bath, did some laundry. Now I'm just laying here in the sun, doing absolutely nothing. And it's fabulous. Did some laundry, took a bath, took a nap. Man, this camp time over trail time. There might be something to this. Feeling pretty rested. Feet feel pretty good. That's good. Because tomorrow, well, it's only 13 miles. It's going to be a challenge. So, I'll be getting up kind of early. Not way early, but early enough to where I can get to that next campsite in time to get a campsite. On day eight, I hiked 13 miles. I continued west on the Minong Ridge Trail to the Huggenin Cove Trail and hiked along the North Shore to the Huggenin Cove campsite. morning. So it isn't all smooth sailing all the time. I'm walking through the uh, rainforest here. Feels like I'm in Jurassic Park waiting for a Tyrannosaurus Rex or somebody to come get me. Look down on my Gaia on my phone. Realize I'm about 200 feet off trail. I don't know where I lost it. So I'm cutting across here towards the trail. I don't know. I think I'm still about 100 feet away, but it's uh, not exactly easy going here. Trying to make lemons out of lemonade when you're lost and off trail. Sometimes you find some places that are beautiful. On this nice little meadow here. Couple places where moose have bedded down in here. Nice little look over there. Supposedly the trail is that way. You know what's funny? I just shot that last video. I was standing like 15 feet away from the trail. Huh. Kind of questioning if I had to go down into that wetland all uh, at all. Oh well, it's part of the adventure, right? Windigo, here I come. I have a decision to make. I've come to an intersection here where it is 
1.8 miles to Windigo, which is where my ferry will pick me up and boat me back to my car tomorrow around noon. It's an easy route. Or I can go on the Huggenin Cove Loop, which is 3.3 miles up. So 1.8 and I'm done. Or 3.3 to camp, and then another three and a half tomorrow. That's the easy trail, right? That's also the trail of regret. If I go there, lay up, take it easy. In a couple days, I'll be sitting at work going, oh, I wonder what that hugging in cove looked like. Here we go, 3.3 miles. It's lunchtime now. But I'm not going to stop to eat. I'll have some trail mix along the way. Hugging in Cove. Please have a campsite for me. Walking along Lake Superior today, and the wind really has the lake kicked up here. I made it to the Huggenin Cove campsite. Walked along the uh, shoreline here. There are a bunch of sites that are super scenic right on the lake. However, they got that wind blowing in right now. So I came up to, I think, campsite number four here, which is off the lake. You know, isn't quite as scenic, but I'm not gonna get blown around. And to tell you the truth, it's really loud down by that shoreline there the water so you know it's nothing fancy here but it's it's still a little breezy up here but I think I'm gonna set up my hammock right over here had some lunch finished setting up my hammock and my tarp can see here my tarp is real low just in case that wind kicks up again uh, it'll keep me protected uh, talk about one extreme to the other remember how hot it was when I first got here now it's quite chilly you can see that my Renaud syndrome has kicked in yellow fingers there and they're numb so I'm gonna hop in my hammock Rest a little bit with that quilt, warm up. Probably when it gets a little closer to nighttime, I'll go down here uh, and look at the, the lake and uh, I might be able to, it's pretty overcast, might be able to get a real nice sunset looking uh, to the west here. So, but for now, I'm gonna get all warmed up oh, in my hammock. Just sitting here enjoying Lake Superior on the last night that I am spending on Isle Royal. This has been the trip of a lifetime and I'm not exaggerating when I say that. I think there's three main reasons why I really enjoyed this trip. The first being Isle Royal is an island. It's a remote island. You know, you have to take a boat for two hours to get here. You're not gonna leave early unless, uh, you know, you come up with some plan. So just being remote like that and being on an island uh, is the first reason. The second reason is being on that island, I planned it for nine days. And over those nine days, I planned to circumnavigate almost all the trails on the island. And I did that. And I did that for the most part without being in a rush, without being in a hurry. You know, I really got into that cadence, that rhythm of waking up early, even though I'm not a morning guy, putting in my miles, 
getting to my campsite early, setting up, and just chilling out, relaxing. Whether that be going for a swim, laying in my hammock while it's raining, just coming out to enjoy looking at Lake Superior. It forced me to relax. I couldn't, you know, rush it and put in an extra 10 miles and get done early. My boat is coming tomorrow and there was no point of getting to the boat three days early. So that really made me enjoy it. And the third part, I kind of touched it in uh, number two there is, man, this is a beautiful island. Uh, I didn't see it the first couple days. It was so hot and then it was overcast and rainy. And then I got into that rhythm and I could see the skyline. The sky cleared up, it was great weather. And I don't like waking up early in the morning, but doing so is the most beautiful time of the day to go hiking. Getting up and being on the trail before the sun rises really allowed me to see those sunrises. The lighting was beautiful. I got to see three moose, a couple foxes, all sorts of wildlife. So it was really, really a good time. And it's not over yet. I still got tomorrow morning, the ferry, uh, I get on the ferry at 12.15 and then it's time to go back home. I mean, look at that. Day nine, I hiked four miles on the Huggenden Cove Trail to Windigo. Good morning. Made that short four mile hike out to Windigo sitting on the porch of the Wendigo store. Unfortunately, the store has closed for the season. It was open when I left. I just heard some rattling up here in the bushes. I think it might be a moose. Man, that was the scrawniest bull moose I've ever seen. back to Grand Portage. The lake is rough today. And if you like this adventure, do me a favor, hit subscribe, punch that bell notification, and whoa! Check me out on Instagram and Facebook. We'll see you on the sea. Arr!